Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monero, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies, our modded Skyblock series, and we have a bit of an audience to get started with today. We got three little creepers just kind of eyeing us off here. Oh, oh, who's going over? Is what? Oh, one's down. Okay, we got two little creepers eyeing us off now. Uh, I kind of just wanted to get onto the platform to grab those brains and uh, arrows back there, but these guys are like bouncers guarding the door. I've been bounced from this club. I'm not allowed over on that platform. I'm not welcome on their platform anymore. Uh, so they won't let me on. So we're just going to back away and uh, leave them to it. They can keep doing whatever they're doing over here. Looks like the items are starting to despawn. No, it's still back there. I just really want those items, but these bastards won't let me through. Maybe if I whack them with an axe, we'll be okay here. Go, go away. Go away, sir. Push your friend off for me. You did it before. You brutally murdered one of your own kind before. Actually, they're super... Oh, no! Right as I make it. Right as I decide to jump over, the stuff despawns. God damn it. Uh, anyway, bloody creepers. Always causing trouble, isn't it? No matter what they do, it's always causing trouble. Uh, welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I apologize for the delay between episodes. I uh, just got busy, which kind of pushes everything back and delays everything. The important thing is that we are here, and I've got some big updates to show you guys. Basically, uh, since last episode, I've been doing a bit of work, just improving the infrastructure and stuff that we already had set up, and I'm excited to show some of it off to you guys today. So let's go and have a look at everything I have been working on since last episode. Jump across the road. Whoa! It worked. How many times have I attempted to show you guys that? And I finally nailed it. We got launched across a little pond. How friggin' cool is that? Uh, looks like our hunger's going down a little bit, so let's munch on some bread. Got some jelly sandwiches that we made last time there too. We're going to save those for when we are really hungry. And let's go check out some of the changes I've made. And the first big thing you'll notice is this entire area is different now. I wasn't happy with the uh, row of trees going down and I wanted to increase the area for our animals so that we can get more animals spawning and make it look a little bit more natural. I also moved our farm. So let's wander on in here and have a bit of a look. I think it looks a whole lot better. Let me know what you think. We still got our little mycelium mushroom farm over here. Uh, I kept it separate because I'm not sure if it would corrupt the normal grass. It probably would because that's what mycelium does. So I kept it separate with a block of wood here, and uh, I just harvested some mushrooms. They are still growing. So everything's fine and dandy there. We've got a bunch of cows and a bunch of uh, chickens. There were a few fatalities on the chicken front when I was upgrading all of this. They like to wander down the holes in the floor and, and just jump to their doom. I don't know why. Maybe they made some kind of suicide pack or something. They all drank the Kool-Aid. Uh, the trees look a whole lot more natural and nicer out here, and I was able to plant more. We got all different kinds. We got some birch wood. We got uh, some spruce wood. We got some jungle wood, some orange trees. Is that ripe? Yep, let's get an orange here. We got some nutmeg, and we have some plums as well, which I shall grab, which is delicious. We got our slime tree and our rubber tree. Uh, you may notice that we still don't have any pigs, for one. And our sheep is missing. Sir Sheep is missing. Now, he didn't fall off the sky block when I was updating it. I think he was killed by a growing tree. He was there one minute, I was off doing something. I turned around and there was just a floating piece of wool that I've got in my hand here, sitting next to this tree like that. So, RIP in peace, little sheep, because I think maybe he got crushed by a growing tree, which is annoying because now we have no sheep. I'm hoping another one spawns, because uh, I want the wool. I want to be able to make some elevator blocks so we can go up and down between the platform underneath and this platform a lot easier. But we don't have any sheep, so I can't harvest the wool to make that anymore. I'm sure fate will smile upon us at some point. We'll get some wool or a sheep or something like that will happen. Uh, next up is the actual farm itself, where all our food and stuff is. And I just wanted to move it into plots. So we got our cacti, we got our wheat, we got our carrots and our sugarcane, pumpkins and uh, melons here. And I've got some more plots back here because we're going to be continuing with Hell's Kitchen today. And we may need to uh, bone meal some grass and get some more plants. So I figured we'd have some extra plots out the back here and we can put them in there. I also discovered something. Uh, what are we? Episode 13 or 14? And I just discovered you can actually just right click things. And uh, you harvest it, and it replants it automatically for you. 
I did not know that. It took me this long to figure that out. I wish someone had actually told me this. Uh, so let's actually just harvest some of this stuff here while we're here. We may as well. And then we'll move on to the next update or big thing that I've been working on. And it has to do with this dirt here. You might be wondering, uh, how did you get all this dirt? I mean, this is a ton of dirt. And the platform of dirt we had for our animals before this was absolutely tiny. Probably thinking I cheated right about now. And you would be wrong because what I've actually actually done is improved our harvesting system over here. Oh, there we go. It's chopping down a tree. And I've got a lot of dirt being manufactured for us. It's a whole new system set up. Well, I say new. It's not that new. It's just better than it was last time we left off. Uh, so the harvester is still doing its thing here. It's still chopping down um, any trees that grow. We still got the chest getting all the goodies in it. But as you can see now, we have oak leaves going into the chest. And there is a ton in there, which means I should probably turn it off from shearing them. Because I don't think we need any more for a while and what happens to these oak leaves is they go out uh actually let me just munch on these carrots here and get some health back also have a quest i have to hand in that i will do that really quickly before i show you that because i don't want to forget it uh this quest was a very very easy one in here uh expanding the farms we made a well i made a tin upgrade and a precision sledgehammer uh the tin upgrade goes in here it increases the radius that the harvester works and the precision sledgehammer that i have on me was made with plastic and this is really cool. When you hover over an, uh, a thing like a harvester or a planter, it shows you the radius that you can actually, that it works in. So how freaking cool is that? So I can actually increase the um, farm that we have here a lot and it will still get harvested, which I may do. Uh, just don't know if it's worth it because we already get far too many materials in uh, as it is. I mean, look how much wood we've got stocked in here. We've got tons of apples. Uh, we got saplings. We have oak leaves. And as I was saying, the oak leaves, they get filtered out this pipe. And then they go along into the top of these barrels here because oak leaves can be used to make dirt. And then the dirt is piped out of the bottom and it goes into this chest. And that's probably about half an hour of this world being open is just that two stacks you get a ridiculous amount of dirt which is how i was able to upgrade all of this uh the other thing that i've changed a little is the sludge boiler as you can see i've put a tank down here because we're getting so much sludge that i needed a kind of buffer in between it and the boiler and i moved it because it turns out you always get poison when you go near this thing so i moved it away from us so it isn't so nasty and all its contents are being piped out here and look at all of this. This also makes dirt too. So we have no problems getting dirt anymore. We also got a ton of clay. We got salt. We got so much stuff. I'm actually going to take this salt because we are playing around with Pam's Harvest Craft today. And we may need it for something. We also need to empty this tank out here. So let's just reconnect this pipe. That should start draining out as we can see there. A little bit. I think it just filled back up immediately. That should go into our sludge boiler. Yep, and that should start creating items into here for us, which is what the sludge boiler does. Uh, so that's the system I've set up up here. I improved our big farm area out here. I think that looks a whole lot nicer. It looks more natural, and I just like it a lot, lot more. Uh, and I improved this system. That's what I've done up here. Uh, down below, I've just improved the system for our um, wood that's coming through with the charcoal a little bit. And I've also been working on something for today's episode, which is the kitchenette. So I've started building a little kitchen over here, and this is where we are going to be working today with the um, Hell's Kitchen stuff that we're going to be looking into. I also forgot to hand this quest in, didn't I? After I just said, let's hand this in, I almost forgot. Uh, so let's just pick the middle reward bag. We've got a quarter heart. we got a mystery safari net. That could be good. That could be a sheep. It could be a cow, or it could be the wither. I don't know. And we got some lamps of fertility from uh, Thomcraft. So once we eventually get to Yara Wizard Steve, we have some lamps of fertility, which is really nice. Um, if I had a Sentia... Oh, do they work without a Sentia? Oh, God. Those zombies are not happy up there. Uh, I can't remember whether lamps of fertility work without a Sentia, but just slower, or whether they need a Sentia. Not 100% sure on that. I also freed up some room in our little hut finally, so we can move around a bit easier. Like I said, though, I want to get an elevator block, but we lost our sheep, so uh, we're not getting that. Let's go place these lamps of fertility down before I show you the rest of what I've been working on underneath. Some big updates for you today. Basically, because it had been so long between episodes, I decided to just improve a lot of what we already had set up. Let's get some carrots here. Let's get our lamps. Um, I guess we'll just put one there and maybe... 
Uh, one here as well. I think Essentia just might... I can't remember. I mean, we I just played around with Thomcraft in my other series, so I should remember. But I think the Lamps of Fertility work, but providing them with Essentia from Thomcraft just increases their rate at which they work. I think that's how, how it all goes here. We'll put the other one there. Screw it. We'll just place them down and see if they work or not, I guess. Hopefully they do something. Let's head back down and I'll continue showing you guys what I have been working on since we last left off. Need to munch again. So much food to eat here. Let's have a quick peek up here first. More creepers blocking me, it seems. We'll come back up and have a look in a little bit. So let's go back down. And I'll show you our little kitchenette properly. And then we'll go and have a look at what I set up uh, with the rest of the machines. So, over here, we've got our utensils in this chest down here. Everything we should need. Up here is going to be our finished product. So whenever we make something, it'll go up there. And up here, we have our raw ingredients. So let's put some carrots back up in there. Let's put some plums and oranges and seeds and wheat. That can go up there. Oh, and the salt. I grabbed that for a reason. Uh, so that's where all our raw ingredients are. Let's grab some bones because I have a feeling we might need to bone meal some stuff today. Um, ignore that. Just ignore this horrible platform over here. I had to get underneath to be able to put the water and sand in. Uh, and I haven't deleted that platform yet. So ignore it. Ignore it. Um, this horrible little platform is still here. But we have a new addition to our system. And that is the redstone furnace. So I decided to bite the bullet and get one of these made. As it cooks up the wood into charcoal a whole lot quicker. As I was saying though, I really don't think I need to make that tree farm much bigger up the top. Because this isn't even getting sucked out fast enough. Um, I think I may need to make another steam dynamo because this one is struggling a little bit uh, with the workload that it has, especially when I put on um, this processing order here. It really, really struggles. So I'm thinking of setting up another steam dynamo. That'll also solve the overflow of charcoal we have at the moment. As you can see, oh no, it's gone through. I get stuck in that pipe a lot, but it seems it might have actually gone through this time, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I also need to work on getting this stuff up into our smeltery. And basically, I think that's about it that I've done down here that's new to you guys. Is I just added the redstone furnace. And uh, the wood from our planter is being filtered down into the redstone furnace. I'm trying to find it. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so the wood is being filtered down into here, which has a servo that only lets the wood in. That's what I was trying to show you. And then it cooks into charcoal, then it's sucked out, and it goes straight into the steam dynamo. So this is all completely 100% automated down here. I really don't have to do anything anymore, except on occasion, of course, throw our pickaxe in here and let it go to town. There we go. We'll get that flowing again, and in a little bit I'll come over and I'll show you guys uh, what I was talking about with the power draining a bit. Uh, so, I think that's everything I had to update you on. Like I said, big, big changes, big, big updates. Well, they're not, like, huge changes. It's just lots of improvements I wanted to show you. Um, but the rest of the system down here is all the same, I think. You know, it's just the power and everything. Yeah, it all looks pretty much the same to me. Now, we can move on to Hell's Kitchen. And the first step was for us to make this... Uh, oh, God, we unlock more. Uh, okay, that's to make a bunch of piping. I might get some of this fiddly stuff made in between episodes and we can hand them in next time. Uh, what we're focusing on today is smooth ice by making ourselves a glacial precipitator. And I've got it searched here. It's pretty easy to make. We need another water bucket though. Uh, we have iron, we have gold, we should have glass. Uh, piston, all super easy to make. We just need to grab some wood. Uh, yeah, very, very easy. So let's get started on that. What I might do is grab some, uh, sand from here. Just maybe a little bit in case we need to cook some up. I also need to occasionally just go over here and hit that so it organizes it again. And that should start allowing more items from this chest to filter in. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Organize that. And that is looking fine and dandy. And look at the ridiculous amount of ores we have. It is so darn stupid. Uh, what we might actually do is grab... Do, 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 what am I looking for? Iron. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Grab five iron out. That'll give us... 
10 ingots and we'll throw that in uh, in case we need any extra today. I don't think we will though. I think once we get this glacial precipitator made, it'll just be a matter of getting a whole bunch of foodstuffs in order, uh, which I'm looking forward to. I mean, the kitchenette is very basic and it's just a starter kitchen, but it's looking nice and I really, really want to utilize it. Uh, let's get our first bucket of water here. Then what we need to Oops, accidentally emptied it again. Uh, then what we need to do is we need to make another bucket. Oh, I already had 24 iron. Didn't realize I had so much. So let's get another bucket of water here. Uh, we need some gold and we need some glass. Let's just check if we have some glass somewhere. Uh, we have six there, but what we'll do is we'll put uh, this on to cook in here as well. May as well put it in there. Uh, what else did we need? I think we needed gold, as I just said, I'm pretty sure. Um, so buckets, gold, piston, which requires wood, redstone, and cobblestone. That's the other thing. I need to start getting uh, the items out of the chest below and piping them up the top here. Because uh, quite often, I do what I'm doing now, where I have to run down just to grab something like redstone, because it's all going into that chest. Uh, also, having the elevator block would be really, really nice, but poor Flossy, Poor Flossy, our sheep. Uh, never had that name before, but that's what we're going with. Has disappeared. Ooh, we got ten diamonds, too. Fantastic, yeah. I think I'm going to have to set up a piping system for the items in these chests and get them up somewhere else. Or we maybe should start looking into a um, ME system for better storage. That could be a possibility, especially if I get another Steam Dynamo set up so we have more power to keep it permanently on. Um, and we shouldn't really have a problem with power at the moment due to what I've got set up. Uh, all right. I think we might have everything we need. That should be all smelted down. So one ingot out there. Block out there. And let's grab some gold here. See what else we need. And I think we now have it made. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Uh, what am I missing here? Okay. Piston. Machine frame. Reception coil. And copper. That's weird, it wouldn't register for some reason, but we got it made anyway, and that is pretty darn cool, because this will allow us to make, I think, snow or ice, and that allows us to make smoothies. And, as I mentioned last time, we get another full heart, which I feel, feel like that's quite strong for such an easy quest. Uh, we have 12 remaining hearts, and we got a reward bag, which contained a whole bunch of wood. Amaranth wood, and we got some rose wood, we got some purple heart wood. I like the look of these uh, purpley woods, they look pretty cool. Uh, what we'll do is we'll place these in a chest, and we might think about where we can use these to decorate. I would have liked to got the saplings, maybe. That would have been a whole lot nicer. Uh, but that is fine that we didn't. Let's go and dump our ingots and stuff over here. We'll also grab the ones that dropped out. Let's grab these here. And we will chuck all of this junk back in here. I may as well leave some redstone in here in case we need it. Now, I'm still very curious about this, but I'm also nervous at the same time. And that's why I've been kind of just ignoring it as it's been sitting there flashing in our inventory. I know some of you are probably like, just use the darn thing. But it could be bad, guys. It could be bad. Or it could be good. Uh, I think probably the best place to do it is definitely in here. So let's do it. Oh, sheep! Flossy too! Flossy too! Oh, that is amazing! We're just talking about how Flossy disappeared and how we needed a sheep, and behold, we got one! Um, I thought we had shears somewhere. Doesn't look like we have any shears anywhere, unless I'm completely blind. Uh, so let's make some, and let's harvest some of Flossy's fur here. I think shears are just like that, aren't they? There we go. So let's go and chop off some of Flossy's clothes, or fur here, or wool, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, you're nude now, Flossy. you are nude, or Flossy too. We have two bits of wool at the moment, uh, we need eight to be able to make an elevator block, and we need a second ender pearl for them to work, but I'm sure we'll probably get one. Endermen do like to spawn up here on occasion, and with these axes and stuff, they're not too difficult to kill. Uh, now that we got our glacial precipitator made, let's see what we've unlocked. Oh god, we've unlocked quite a lot here. Uh, vegetarian supplies, I ain't no vegetarian. Salad dressing, toasties, burger flipper, <laughs> fish food, we got farm labor, brunch, um, alright, let's go left to right, and we'll come across and go up to the vegetarian, so let's start with Toasty. 
and it's just to make toast. Toast is always a wise decision when one's hungry. It's delicious with almost everything. The crazy one would like some toast as well, but unfortunately all his own experiments went up in flame or burnt to a crisp, I think that's meant to say. Uh, can you please provide some toast? All right, well, let's get on making some toast for the crazy one. Don't know if I feel comfortable making toast for someone who is known as a crazy one. Sounds a bit loco to me. Uh, all right. Toast for you. Was it the crazy one or the powerful one? Probably read it wrong, didn't I? Uh, okay, how do we make you? We make... Toast becomes toast. Interesting. Oh, that's easy. We just... We literally just cook bread, which we have a ton of. Um, that is very, very easy. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't know you could do that. We also don't need that glass. Let's cook some toast up here. Wish I'd have known this before. There should be a toaster in the mod pack. That would be fantastic. Make a bit more sense. Oh! We got toast, guys. Yummy, yummy. Uh, manual detect. Perfect. It was the crazy one, wasn't it? Yeah, well, here you go, crazy one. Have some toast there. Oh, I got to keep it. Yum. Be nice with a bit of butter on it, though. Or anything, really. Maybe some Nutella. That'd be that'd be delicious. It's actually making me hungry now. Uh, all right. We got some toast here. That's better than eating bread. Wish I had a note I could have made that ages ago. Because we've been munching on bread for like most of the series. Um, now that we've done that one, let's have a look at salad dressing here. And um, we need to make a vinegar. Which shouldn't be too difficult, I imagine. Should not be too difficult at all. What have I... How have I screwed this up? Vin. Uh, oh, I forgot. I, yeah, don't worry. I saw what I did wrong. Oh, we need... To make juice first. Now we can make apple juice because we have a lot of apples. I just needed to flick over to apple juice here. And there we go, apple juice, which is our juicer. All right. Uh, I can't remember whether I took the apples down to our kitchenette, so we may as well just grab some to be safe. We have so many apples. What I also need to do is just flick that off again and let the tank fill up once more. Let's check in here. Wow, so look at all the clay. Like what do we even do with all that clay? I have no idea. Maybe we need to build, like, a, a big clay statue. Oh, I guess we could cook it into bricks and build something cool with it. Maybe we should refurbish the kitchenette down here and build it with awesome-looking bricks. Huh. Huh. Sound like a villager. That could be an idea. Let's get our juicer out here. And let's get ourselves some apple juice. Actually, let's make a whole bunch of apple juice. That could be nice. Uh, unfulfilling snack. What's toast? Nourishing light meal. Okay, well, let's just uh, drink some of this apple juice here. Then what we need to do is we need to get the pot, and we need to put the pot and the apple juice in the crafting table. And I made 17 vinegar by accident. Wow, I am an idiot. Uh, my bad. Did not... Oh, we got glass bottles from that. That's a bit of a cheaty way to get glass, glass bottles, isn't it? Huh, I'm going to put the glacial precipitator in there because I'm not sure how to use it yet. Uh, okay, let's put our apples in there, let's put some toast in there, we will put, may as well put glass bottles in here in case we need them, our juicer back in there, we got way too much vinegar, hope we can make some nice salads or something with it later, claim our quarter of a heart here, uh, and let's see what we can make next, which is a hamburger, okay, burger flipper. Let's see how we make a hamburger. I'm sure it's going to involve having to kill a cow or two here. Firm tofu. Oh, you can make a vegetarian version. We're not going to do that. Screw that. We're going to go and murder one of our innocent cows. I'm a horrible person. Vegetarian option? Nah, let's go kill some animals. <laughs> That's my approach to it. I don't think we have any beef anywhere. No, we don't. Sorry, cows. You have to go. One of you has to go. Sir, you are the closest to me. I apologize, and your sacrifice will not be in vain. Okay, we got some raw beef here. Uh, what else did we need? We needed some toast, which we put down in our kitchenette. And we also needed a frying pan, which is down here. So let's grab out our toast. Let's get out our skillet, I mean. And then it was skillet, toast, and raw beef. And we got two delicious hamburgers here. Uh, that is so friggin' cool that you can make food like this. That is awesome. I'm going to hold on to these hamburgers. I might want to eat one a little bit. It's a nourishing meal, so we might wait until we're a little bit more hungry. Let's hand this in. Get another quarter heart. We're soon going to get another life. And next up is a fish burger, which I assume is the same just with a fish. Which means that we may have to try and catch one. 
as I don't know if we have any fish just lying around to use here. Uh, okay, fish sandwich. Oh, okay. So you can use raw fish, tofu again, or calamari. Uh, we need to make mayo as well. How do you make mayo? Mayo is an egg and a juicer. We can do that. Did I bring eggs down? Yes, I did. So let's get the mayo made first of all. Okay, so put that in there with the juicer. Uh, we will just make one. I'm not going to go overboard this time again. Let's throw our juicer back in there. Throw our egg back in there. This is so much fun playing around with all this food. But it is making me incredibly hungry in real life. I'm actually quite hungry now. Uh, the next thing we need is a fish. And as I said, I'm not sure if we have any lying around. And I'm not sure where our fishing rod is. That's the other issue. Uh, okay. Any fish in here? No, but there is our fishing rod, but that needs bait. What about in here? No fish in here, but what we do have are some sticks, and we have string, so we can probably make ourselves just a crappy fishing rod, which I believe is like this, yes? No. Like this? No. I'm completely wrong. How do you make a fishing rod? Uh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't even close, was I? Uh, alright, well let's make ourselves a crappy fishing rod here. And let's see if we can catch ourselves a fish up in the little troll pool. We've seen how well this works in the past. And if you watch carefully, we can see the fish now investigating this curious object within their isolated world. And if one of them dare approach and attempt to take a bite, it will be the end of them. Or not. Apparently... Years of doing docu- Oh, there we go. Yes, we did it. Okay, we did it. Thank you, David Attenborough. He was our good luck charm there. Uh, okay, so we have the fish now. We have the toast. Um, there we go. We got some more in here, some more in here. Fantastic. So we can make ourselves a fish sandwich. Let's also munch on a burger. Oh, that was yum. That hamburger was really darn good. Let's go and get ourselves what we need here. I think we might have everything. Oh, we needed the mayo. That's all right. Uh, so it was mayo, toast, fish, and skillet. How did I screw that up? Um, oh, wait, bread. It was bread. All this time it was bread, which we should have in here. Uh, I guess we're making like a an actual bigger fish burger rather than... Actually, this one's called a fish sandwich where we're using the bread. The other one was a, was a hamburger, but we used toast. Think that someone got that back to front. Okay, let's try that again. We got ourselves a fish sandwich. Delicious. Uh, yum diddly umptious. Let's hand this quest in. And we can now make a whole new life for ourselves here. So let's get that. And pop it. Boom. 13 lives in total. We are doing really, really well here. Let's get on to the next quest, which is the vegetarian supplies. We need a presser and a soybean. Now, a soybean may just drop from grass. I'm not really sure. So let's look it up. Soybean, where do I get you? Uh, yes, I think soybeans you get just from harvesting grass and getting soybean seeds and then planting them. So that is what this handy dandy bones are here for. Let's see if we can get ourselves a soybean seed and then we can start a soybean farm. We also need to make a presser as well, which I have no idea what that is. I'm sure it won't be too difficult though, hopefully. But before we get to the presser, let's get some soybean seeds before we wrap the episode up. And that way they will hopefully have grown by the time we come back. Let's just start whacking. Actually, we had a sickle, didn't we? We do have a sickle hiding somewhere. I'm pretty sure we do. Um, flux infused sickle or an invar. We'll use an invar. I have a feeling like the flux infused one's probably really, really good. So we'll hold on to that. And let's sickle this grass away. Okay, what do we get here? Uh, we got a sweet potato and we got a cantaloupe. Ooh, disgusting. Uh, okay. Let's just keep bone mealing this grass up here. We got some kind of little berry bush down there. We got a few. We're going to get so many supplies from doing this. It's going to be fantastic. What the hell is that? Wild rhubarb. And we got mango. We got blackberries. We got pear saplings. Oh, that is great. Let's just knock it all down, though, and collect everything. Uh, oops, accidentally farmed our cocoa beans there. Oh, and I think we might have got a soybean. 
No, we're gonna peas. Don't get too excited, guys. It's just peas. <laughs> well, I honestly thought that was a soybean. They look the same. We've already run out of inventory space too. Is that a is that a soybean? Is that a soybean? They all look like soybeans to me. Alright, well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around just continually doing this until I get some soybeans. I'm gonna plant out oh, is this one? Nope, it's another PC because I picked it up. Uh, I'm gonna start a few little farms with some of the stuff we've gathered here that's going to help us advance further into Hell's Kitchen. Uh, let's eat this fish burger, or fish sandwich, sorry, really quickly. This, it was alright. I still, I left the scales on. Wasn't that tasty, to be completely honest, but that's my own fault. Uh, but, unfortunately, as I was saying, guys, I'm all out of time for today's video. Looks like that sheep is into those strawberries, which we probably definitely want to plant. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to throw it a rating. It really helps out. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.